Why so serious? Hello, hi guys, it's Ycrow here. We are here in a, in a gameplay of Shaco. This is, a, in fact, an unexpected game I did yesterday, last night. And, well, uh, while I don't like especially to upload spectator games, I think live games are, be are better. Uh, this game in, was kinda nice because, uh, because I managed to do many things I explained in my guide in Mobile Fire. And I wanted to show you guys how it, who are them performed live. Because, of course, it's not the same. You can read it, but if you have a visual resource to 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 understand how things are done that helps a lot okay so here with Shaco we're starting red we have a very nice team we have a Nasus for late game we have a Z that if he gets fed we may have very success early we have a Morgana who is a very common ban and I think it's a good choice she's strong as hell and when we will try to do uh, our red and to invade enemy red or enemy second buff. There are many things I want to show you here, guys. Now there goes the, 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 the third box. Now, the first thing you have to notice when you're jungling, especially in advanced jungling, is uh, you have to know where enemy jungler start. It's very important because 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 of that you may go a place on a you may go you may go uh, counter gun him on top. You may go bottle him. You must know in every minute where your enemy jungler is, even if you don't if you haven't seen him. Oh, no. If you see bottle lane, enemy bottle lane, uh, reach it. In their lane so fast. Usually, if your bot lane helps, uh, helps you clearing your buff, uh, they will last a bit before reaching their lane. Okay, so we clear the red and we fast go towards the red. We're going to trinket it so we know where the moment where Pantheon comes. Now, the thing about Pantheon, for example, is that he doesn't have any kind of sustain, especially early game. So if you manage to kill him early and steal his blue buff, you may have tons of advantage against him and snowball to late game. Okay, there he comes. He is nice because he hides in bush. And we go in. He panic. We just go to him. He jumped to he, he jumped to me, but he ate he eat the whole the whole box. So it's okay. He flashed away. Even if if he doesn't die, it's okay because we burned his flash, so he won't overextend that much. He was so low, so so he will have to go base. Now that can screw it up. Yeah, I think she dies. He dies. Yeah, he dies. Okay, we will score a double. We have red, we're so much stronger than a level 3 Casio. Stay away from Venom, and we clear red. Now, we scored a double. We stole his red, Pantheon lost his buffs. So it's a kind of good trade. In fact, it would have been better if, if the Z didn't come and we just stole the red buff. And Pantheon went to base, but it's okay, it's okay. We got the double kill, we got so much advantage, and we have to use it. Now let's back to game. And now we have free blue. To clear and restart it. Now, if you're using uh, an aggressive jungler, such as like 
uh, Shaco or Lee Sin, you should focus on on dominating early game because your mind strength. We go there. Please flash. Okay, they sucks me. That's nice. That sucks. So, do, 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 do. He's dead. He's so dead. Oh, he, he's so dead. Okay. There's a good fact about being an aggressive jungler. If you're an aggressive jungler, it's it's more likely that enemies will exhaust you if they have it. You see, Tres exhausted me there to avoid me killing them. So thanks to that, Kailin was able to go and in without any kind of limitation and just finish off Thresh and get a kill. That was so nice. We also get an assist. So we started it's a very good star game. Even if, if when we are 2 3, you see it, we are 2 3 in kills, but we are so ahead. You must understand that game, this game isn't about kills, but about objectives, about map presence, map pressure, and destroying enemy nexus. Ah, the Pantheon, you stole my big golem. These ones, but it's okay. Ah, this set is pushing too hard. I can do shit. Hello, well, whatever. I can do shit because uh, Cassiopeia is a very easy uh, champion to gank. Whoop, there's a bard who's done with extend fed. Yeah, he overextended, he's dead. Well, this may happen. This may happen. Nope. This may happen a lot. This is why you should ask your... Unless you rely a lot on your lane because you, it's your primate or whatever, you should ask your teammates uh, not to push the lane. Especially if there is an easy gun cable champion like Cassiopeia. You want your allies not to push. So you can uh, abuse them. Okay, let's go bot lane. I want to kill those people. There goes a flash. And a heal. It's okay. You see, it's not about the kills. They thought it would... Bot lane uh, thought it would be a good idea to push the lane. But once they did, I ganked. And they had to, to burn the flash and the heal. So they wouldn't push again. Even if when I didn't score a kill... Reward, a bit too late. Even when I didn't score a kill... We uh, push, uh, we gave a lot of pressure into that lane. I want people to be afraid of me, and that will give us the, the win. Good. There are many things that I want to show you here in in this in this video. Especially in the use of, of my Q of Deceive to jump away. I want to show you how to fake the jumps. It's a thing that I explain in my guide. And I want to show you guys how to use your ultimate to avoid the skills. Here comes Pantheon to gank. But hey, there comes a counter gank. There dies Cassiopeia. And that goes back and it's it. Good job. I like to think of Shaco about... Uh, I think it's like a mental champ. His job is to play with the mind of enemies. And make them think you are everywhere. It's like, no, no, don't do shit because Shaco will come. <laughs> that's, that's what they should be thinking every time. Now we got Blizzard. Don't mind about... Don't, I, I also I like you to ask questions to me, but let's not talk about it, I mean, the, uh, the items I choose on this game because I'm currently testing new setup, new items, new items. I'm not especially sure about them, so I'll talk about items in another chapter. Now, I think it's here where I fake a jump. I wanted to show you. No Pantheon comes and see me doing blue. And I have to escape. 
But Cassiopeia, you see Cassiopeia also is coming, so I have to back. And Vladimir is also there, so I have to go back. I fake the jump once, and back, there is a Cassiopeia. Now I feel myself in a sandwich between, between Pantheon and Cassiopeia. Now I have to walk towards a, a wall. I go towards a wall, and whoop, I jump back. If I jumped over the wall, Cassiopeia would have been waiting me there, so I would have died. But I bite it. I went into a wall, making them think I jumped over the over the wall. But I jumped to the opposite way. So I could find a bush, place a box, and go base without any more trouble. It's what I call in my guide in Mothfire, it's called it's called uh, behind enemy lines. You go to a place, you try to make a jump obvious, but you just jump the opposite way. That's very strong weapon and shackle, and you should be abusing it. Now let's go kill those. You're overextending a lot. That's it. They push again, they die. They exhaust you. And please die. Please die. Okay. We're gonna be kinda good there. I think this one escapes. Try not to overextend. No, please die, please die, please die. And there it goes. <laughs> that goes good. That's what you have to do with enemy mines. You push, you die. You want people to stay behind the turrets, unable to do anything. It's trick. I should have rebelled this one. In fact, in the first time you go base, after invading for the first time, you should switch your trinket and get that red one. But it's okay. You do this anytime. We got the Drake. Drake is so important. Try to do it every time you can. Okay, there's another kill. We let Seth get the kill because we want our mid set. We got enough kills anyway. Good. Now, we just got Drake. It's about minute 12 and a half on game already. And we could say that we should finish. Well, let's finish this, these people out because you push, you die. Main roll. And there goes the second. And Curry got it, so. Curry got the double kill. That's a good. I think. Now, we say it. It's minute 13 already. You have to. We have done many things. Now, we should say. We should make lane face Jova. I'll tell you why. If you're using Shaco, you don't want games to last too long. You don't want it. I, I know people say, oh my god, Shaco is so useless late game. No, Shaco is not useless late game, but I want to tell you something. You can rely on your teammates. <laughs> I know that that's kinda cruel, but you don't want to, to rely on your teammates. Whoops, Pantheon coming. You don't want uh, you, you don't want to rely on your teammates, especially in solo queue. And I will tell you why. If uh, one of your allies screw it up early in, early game and dies, it's not a big deal. It's okay if he dies early game because that won't impact a lot in the game. However, if your teammate dies, uh, let's say stupidly because an object stand at minute 40, it may be the the reason of you lose. A death in late game it's a loss. You don't want this to happen. And since you can just say to your teammates, hey, please don't die late game. It's better to just don't have late game and finish the game as soon as possible. Here we see Pantheon going in with 3 vs 1. It was a bad choice, Pantheon. We finish him. Good. And he, here we die. Ah, fuck. It's okay because I was in a, in a very killing spree, a very long killing spree. I gave a lot of gold and it's good that it was a support who got it. I get assist too, thanks to the clone. Okay, that's it.
Come on, guys, don't die. Shut down. Ah, fuck it. Oops, slack. What the hell is happening there? Sorry about that. It was about the replay, not me. I didn't change the time. What the fuck? Not better. Okay. So now, as I say, it's minute 15 already. We have to destroy a turret. Now. We can't make. We shouldn't make the game last longer. We have to finish. We have to be a so ahead in gold. You see, Nasus go base because he just wants to farm his kill. No, we don't want to. We want this. In fact, I think Nasus insulted me a lot for destroying his turret. Uh, ignore them. Ignore, ignore people when they insult you. It's like, oh fuck you, get off of my lane. Don't bash my turret, you screwed it. No, I want to finish the game. I, was, I want to win now. If we don't win now, we, have, we may have problems later. So the here it comes. Nope, too risky. We got a turret top, but lane is almost destroyed too. Whoops. And now is the time with, where we should start destroying them. Hello. Take a stun. Good stun from Morgana. This clone. This clone. Destroy him. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got time at. We got time at, that's a good thing. After time at, we can just speed push every single lane in a very short time. We have so strong split push power, so push power. It's a good dwelling power thanks to the burst. Let's use that. Don't forget to farm a little bit. Shaco is in a charm that needs her to farm permanently. It's not really a charm that a champion that needs not that needs tons and tons of farm to success. But it's important you keep farming often, keep switching between killing and farming. Because if not you may stay you make your team behind. If you got all your gold and because of kills and you don't farm, that's a lot of gold your team is losing. You want to have the gold of farm and the gold of kills, not just one of them. If you don't do, if you don't do so, you may stay so behind. We give here the blue to Morgana. So, time to push. I think in this moment I screw it, I win it. Morgana comes to help and instead of taking the good kill, the good is a kill. Uh, I try to get both of them. And because of that I don't take any one. You see, I try to kill Lucian with the heals. And I can't kill Pantheon either. Yeah, I fucked it up. I should have taken Pantheon. I was just greedy there. I could have scored a kill, but I prefer to take two. And because of that, I didn't take any. Okay, but we are good. We do, we do it in fun. We're doing fine. We're having fun. Enemy team is so demotivated. Because they can't do shit. We did the drakes. We're farming the jungler, we're warding them, we're pushing. We're pushing that hard. That was a bad idea, listen. And there it goes. The sieges. Place the box, wait for someone. 
pop the ultimate and kill them all. Now, more things. I want to tell you something important that many things, many people forget. Uh, when you're pushing, you don't have to destroy the turret in the first push. You don't have to. People think, no, no, if you don't destroy the, the turret from 100% uh, to 0%, it's not worth it. Not really. You can go push once, destroy half of the turret, then come again and destroy it. In fact, this is the best way to get pressure in the game. Just poking, poking, poking the turret until them all are, are down. Now we hold top. We try to go top to help Nasus, but we find here a pink. And we have to back. But well. You have to press her a bit. Okay. Come on, Fed, come on, good job, team. Oh, to be honest, I kinda have an okay team. So that's why I'm not uh, pushing that hard in that game. Well, I want to show you how to use ultimate to, to avoid things here. I think uh, Tress throws me the, the grab in here, and pop, I pop the ultimate, and I just ignore him, and I can give the target a few more hits. Now, what I was saying, uh, our team is kinda good. I mean, uh, top lane is doing good, mid lane is doing okay, bot lane is doing okay. We're going more or less okay. That's why I'm not uh, hard pushing so hard. Uh, hard pushing so hard? What the fuck is that? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, if I had uh, some uh, especially bad player on my team, which would happen to you often, you should focus on push a lot. If you have a bad player in your team, you want to end as fast as possible. You, you, you don't want him to ruin your game. The more minutes you're playing, the more chances you're giving him to ruin your game. Don't tell him nothing, don't tell him noob, don't flame, don't ask him nothing. He will do it, he won't do it. He won't do it. He's doing his best and his best is bad. <laughs> this is bad. So don't try to really to rely on him. If you see you have a very bad very very bad a uh, player in your team, just ignore him and try to finish as fast as possible. Now here I'm pressing a trap. You see, Kaylin is now uh, pushing bot lane. He will try a ping, him, a ping her to destroy bot. I tell you why. It's more likely someone will come defend the turret by this path. And here it comes, Lucian. We can just destroy him and give uh, Kailin a kill because they are not warding and the, the jungler and we are doing so. So we can place very very strong traps that would make will make our, our team ahead. We got another turret. Enemies are buzzy mid lane, so we can still keep pushing until we take the second turret. And we place a box. You see that box to cover in case someone is coming to kill us. Well, here comes Pantheon. Hi, <laughs> hi, box. Thanks to that box, Cassie won't take us. This is very it. And we keep going ahead. You see, I'm not scoring that many kills. I think I have about 10 or level kills. It's not that much. I can. Ha I have games where I uh, ended about 25-0, 25-1. We was, uh, these games didn't go that well. This game isn't about kills, but it's about taking objectives, pressing the lanes, uh, demotivating enemies, and overextending like I do here. <laughs> yeah, I overextend a lot. So I have to run into my teammates who cover me, thanks to them. In fact, it went kinda good. But you shouldn't be doing that. We just play them, they are kinda bad. 
Well, in fact, we are better. I don't want to. Whoops! Close. I don't want to say enemies are bad. I prefer to say our team is better. Yeah, man, that's not them. It's our bad. It's, the, it's we that we are so good. Positive mood will make you win games. Whoops, lag. Like. Sorry about the, the little lag spikes that you're seeing. I don't know what why are they, they happening. I try to fix them as soon as possible. And there's the third drake we do. We got all of them. That's a lot of money for my team. We got tons of turrets. The team at the moment is so 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 ahead. Nasus isn't doing shit, but he's okay, he's not losing lane, he's not dying, he's just a moving ward, but since he is, he's doing fine, he's not dying or feeding, it's okay. Not especially bad for you. And if he's farming his kill, he will carry us late game, it's okay. We keep pushing here, we have stones of lifesteal, so we don't need to wait for minions. And I just start covering that. You see, I have two boxers there just in case we get ganked. We can escape. And there it goes. Oops. It's close enough. See? You see, I escape. It's like, oh no, please. And. Nope. He won't chase because he ate a box already a few minutes ago. There's a gone. There's another one behind enemy lines. I go through a direction, I jump to the opposite way. Good job! We're performing in the good the moment. That's what I wanted to show you. It's not a specially fancy game. I'm not ultra fat. Uh, we aren't uh, special. Well, we are so ahead in kills, really. But we aren't especially, especially. I am not especially fat in this game. But we are so ahead. And we are so ahead because of all the objectives we took, all the wards we placed in enemy jungler, all the tracks we got, all the times we ganked when someone tried to crush. So our enemies are so afraid of going out of his base, of their base. We want that. That's very good. By the way, I know my English sucks balls, so if you don't understand what I'm saying, or you prefer to read instead of instead of uh, watch or hear my stupid voice, you can also click on uh, the description of the, the video and check out my mobile file guide of Shaco, where I explain everything so detailed. This is not in fact a guide; this is more like a gameplay. But I wanted to show you off. Many things that I, w I thought they may interest you guys. Hello! Good. You see, no, oh my god, you didn't kill him, you know? No, it's okay. He was at flash, he was at uh, heal. He had to run into base to heal up, so you have free time to destroy this. You don't have to kill to be ahead or to do good. Kills are optional. Of course it's good to have kills, but they are not specially necessary. They can be so afraid of you, even if you are not taking every single kill. And <laughs> that's it. <laughs> For Cassiopeia, you see, they, they, they I may, I'm making them be afraid just of go out of, of the phone time. Cassiopeia wasn't even out of his base, and he, and she died. Now again, boom, you extend, you die. I want enemies think or extending it's everything that includes going out of their base. Everything you do out of the phone time, it's of extension. You do something, you die. That's what you have to put 
on enemy mines. Don't do something, don't do anything, or Shaka would kill you. Does not just finish it with a Q. Thank you very much. So you see here we got three inhibitors. We just finish ah, black. We just finish him. Finish him. We can just uh, finish few people here and end the game. And it's over. Here's what I wanted to show you a very dominant game. Very dominant game without having many, many kills. But being a so much success. Hey guys, thank you for watching. I am Ycro and you just have seen an advanced Shaco Jungle gameplay in Ranked. If you want more details about how I use Shaco, please check my guide on Mobile Fire. If you want to help me out, you just have to like the video. And if you want to share it with friends or to subscribe into my channel, you will help me even more. Thank you guys, you're so sexy.